In this video, we'll take a closer look at our Blazor scheduler. You'll see how to add custom properties to appointments and change the appointment appearance, and how to customize the appointment form. I've already configured a scheduler that displays appointments for workdays in a week. Now let's customize the appointment appearance. The appointments have a set of predefined properties, type, start, end, and so on. When I bind the scheduler to data, I map these properties to data source fields. I can also add custom properties to the appointment. First, I need to add a custom field to the source object, accepted. Then I set this property to true for some appointments in the appointment collection. And now I need to map the accepted field to a custom appointment property. I add this field to the custom field mappings collection and specify the custom property name is accepted. Now I want to display this property value for appointments in the view. Currently, one-time appointments display their subject, start and end time, have a background color, and display statuses, this color strip. I'll customize the appointment appearance so that they show only their subject and a badge if they are accepted. To do this, specify the vertical appointment template. This template is applied to all appointments displayed vertically in the view. To define appointment content and appearance, I use HTML markup. To access appointment data, use the template's context parameter. An appointment will have a background color, display its subject, and if its accepted field value is equal to true, the badge will be shown. Let's look at changes. Two appointments show the badges. The Blazor scheduler also allows you to customize the appointment edit form. Currently, the appointment form doesn't show our custom property is accepted, so users can't edit it. To construct a custom form layout, use the appointment form layout and appointment compact form layout properties. The first property allows you to create a form that's used to edit appointments. The compact form is used to create new appointments. You can add predefined and custom layout items to the forms. These are predefined items. In the full appointment form, I also create a custom layout item. It will be used to display the is accepted properties editor. To pass information about custom properties to the edit form, I implement a custom descendant from the scheduler appointment form info class where I define the is accepted field. I also implement the on appointment form showing function and assign it in the appointment form showing event handler. Now, I specify the context and define the item content in the template property. I run the application again. Now, when I edit the appointment, I can change the is accepted property value. I can also enable form validation. For example, let's check if an appointment subject is specified. For this purpose, I add the subject field to the scheduler appointment form info class descendant and mark it with the required data annotation attribute. Then I set the scheduler's validate edit form property to true and add the validation summary component to the item template to display validation messages. If a user doesn't specify a subject, a validation message is displayed. And that's it for this video. I hope you were able to get a better understanding on how to customize our Blazor scheduler. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.